Hi there, this is Scott Nicholson. I want to tell you a little bit about my spring course, Transformative Game Design. This is a new class. Again, it's, it's experimental in the way I'm putting it together, but we'll see how this works. So the idea behind the class is we're going to be meeting in person for three weekends, uh, one of each in three different months. And then between those months, you're going to be doing all the reading for the class and preparing for those weekends. During each of the weekends, we're going to be doing some very intense game design activities. So we'll be making games, changing games, playtesting games, changing them around during that time. Uh, now, what is transformative games? So transformative games are games that are designed to change people. That's it. So they can be just as complex as recreational games, just as involved as recreational games, but there's an underlying goal, and that is to uh, bring about change. So everything you make in this game, this class, we're going to be looking on not only game design, but then how do you make that game transformative. We're going to be looking at that. So you can expect before the first class, you're going to be reading a good chunk of a textbook, probably rules of play. And then that first weekend, we're going to be focusing on card games. You're going to be playing some games. You're going to be modifying some games. You're going to be designing some games. And then you're going to be doing some more reading um, and exploring some game concepts and thinking about some game concepts. You can come to the second weekend with some game ideas in mind because the second weekend, we're going to be looking at board games. And uh, then, the, again, it's going to be some reading and some thinking. And then the third weekend, we're going to be doing level design for video games and uh, sort of planning out a transform into video games. There's not going to be any programming in this class. You're not actually going to be creating digital games. Everything you're going to be doing is going to be paper-based, so you won't need to code anything. Even the video game level design, we're going to be doing that in a paper-based form. Now, if you have coding skills or you want to explore coding skills once you finish this class, you're going to be ready to go forward because you're going to have uh, good game design skills and also then good transformative game design skills. And, and a lot of the, the idea of being transformative is that we're going to be embedding information into the games. We're going to be embedding it externally and we're going to be embedding it through the play, through procedural rhetoric. And so uh, that's what's going to go on in the class. It's the first time I'm running it. We're going to be figuring things out. There'll probably be some writing and some analysis and things like that along the way. Uh, but that's the general gist of the class. So as I have more information, I'll put that online. You'll be able to find that through uh, the iSchool's uh, website. But uh, for now, just want to let you know what the class was about. Take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.